Okay, what on earth did I just read? Chapter 2 of Chojin X gave us a very Ellie-centric chapter and marks a very drastic shift in tone from Tokyo Ghoul. Sure, Tokyo Ghoul had its own morbid sense of humor like with the pineapple head decapitation scene, but so far, Chojin X feels like an overall goofier, wackier series. Like, we're going back to, let's just say, um, <coughs> Cucumber Man territory. It felt almost like I was reading an omake, only this is the main actual story. Like at one point we have Ellie being chased by a herd of bikers in sheep masks as she rides a tractor. Yeah, I can tell she is having a lot of fun with this one, and honestly I had a lot of fun reading it. This chapter also brought up a lot of questions that I want to go over. First things first, we have confirmation that Ellie survived the plane incident and she has Chojin powers now. How exactly she received these abilities wasn't shown though. Was she injected like Tokyo or are there different ways Chojin powers can be transmitted like if Chojins can infect others? The opening line of the series says that it's somewhat of an infliction after all. Even Chandra isn't so sure. He asks if she was infected by his power. Does this mean she is a smoke Chojin too now? Or is she something else entirely? I have a hunch that Ellie's power isn't so simple and that there's more to it than meets the eye. Who knows? Maybe she's a hybrid who's a smoke Chojin and some other mystery ability that reflects herself. As to what that mystery ability could be though, I think we can find some clues if we take a look at Ellie as a person. First, she's a resourceful tomato farmer, and we know she's capable of thinking outside of the box and on the spot. Like when she finds herself backed into a corner and surrounded, she stabs herself in defense in order to emit more smoke. She also wears her heart on her sleeve and constantly thinks of others. Even Hoshi picks up on this and remarks that Chandra covets Chojins like her who have the power to help others. So I have a feeling that she has something special going on. For instance, if theoretically Chojin abilities reflect the person they belong to, I wonder if her ability revolves around the idea of adaptability, kind of like Darwin from X-Men, or if it's related to making things grow since she is a farmer. Whatever it is though, I think it's going to be some bizarre, crazy, creative ability. In fact, she kind of reminds me of a less lazy country version of Psycho, so I can't wait to see her lose it, like go completely apeshit trying to protect one of her friends because that's one of my favorite tropes. Okay, moving on, but before I wrap up this video, I've got to talk about chapters 2 ending where we see Ellie being rescued by Hoshi who turns out to be the chadliest chad. You may not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. Just look at that jawline. Look at him. Look at it. No wonder he's Ellie's dream man. And then lastly, at the very end, we jump on over to Tokyo, who's looking quite grotesque. He's got a bird beak going on. He's Birdman now. And based off of previews from Ishida's livestream, he's going to have a rough time trying to hide his new appearance from his friend. Kind of like Kaneki had an eye patch, Tokyo's signature look is a bandana. However, I'm guessing that at some point in the future Tokyo is going to get his abilities under control because we see art of his face looking normal and he's in some sort of uniform with Ellie. So my guess is that Ellie and Tokyo are going to be recruited to help the Chojin outbreak that's starting to develop. They're probably going to help Hoshi with that. Since between the injections and whatever happened to Ellie, it looks like more people are going to be given Chojin superpowers, so I can only imagine what sort of chaos that might cause. Alright, that's all I have to say about this chapter, but if I missed any details or if you have any theories for what's going on with the story, let me know down in the comments below. As always, 
Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side.